What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to find different lengths of a trapezoid by using the trapezoid mid-segment theorem. All right? so here we have our trapezoid and the mid-segment is right here in the middle between the two bases, right? This is the top base x plus 3, mid-segment is 3x and this bottom base is 12. So the, tri the uh, triangle, the trapezoid mid-segment theorem just says that the mid-segment is equal to one-half times the sum of the bases, okay? So here we could say that the mid-segment, so here it's 3x, so we could just say, if we're trying to solve for x, we could say 3x is equal to one-half, and then the base is added up, right? So this base, the top one, x plus 3, so x plus 3, and plus, right, plus uh, the second base, which is 12. Okay, so here we can say that 3x is equal to 1 half, and then here, combining like terms, we have x plus 15. Okay, now to get rid of this fraction, we can multiply by the reciprocal, right? So we can multiply by 2, and what we do to one side, we do to the other. So then on this side, 2 times 3x is equal to 6x, and that's equal to, on this side, again, the half and the 2 canceled out, so we're just left with x plus 15. All right, so then here, getting the x's on the same side, we can subtract those. So here, 6x minus x is equal to 5x, so we get that 5x is equal to 15. So here we can see that x must be equal to 3. Boom. All right, here's one more example. So again, we have our trapezoid right here, and then our three different lengths. So again, we can use the trapezoid mid-segment theorem that just says the mid-segment is equal to one-half times the sum of the bases, right? So here, the mid-segment would just be equal to x, right? So here, we could say that x is equal to one-half, and then if we add the bases up, on top, we have x minus three, and then we're going to add, right, we're going to add the bottom base, which is 2x minus 2. 2x minus 2. So then here, we get x is equal to 1 half times, uh, combining like terms, here we have an x and a 2x, which is equal to 3x. Here we have a negative 3 and a negative 2, which is negative 5. Okay, so again, to get rid of this fraction, we can just multiply both sides by 2 like so, so they cancel out over here. On the left side, we're left with 2x is equal to 3x minus 5. So then here we can subtract 3x from both sides. Uh, 2x minus 3x is equal to negative 1x, and that's equal to negative 5. Now to get rid of this negative 1, the last thing we can do is divide both sides by negative 1. Those cancel out, so then here we're just left with x is equal to positive 5. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.